Okay, it's a little dark in my basement here, first off, so I apologize for that. Just wanted to get some footage before I start this project. I saw another user, I can't think of his name right now, and I'll put it on here as soon as I can, that made a uh, canteen cup stove out of a canteen cup. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. Um, I've already marked this up. I'm going to cut the handle portion off. That'll be my opening for my firebox. Um, I'm going to uh, grid it out the top as best I could. It's not quite right, but I'll uh, drill some holes. I haven't decided how many. I think he did slots. I'm going to do holes in mine. And then I'm going to put uh, some screws, I think, to raise it up a little bit. So when you put the other canteen cup on top, it'll give you some distance from the flame. I'm going to put some holes around the side. I haven't totally decided how many or how big. Um, he had a cool idea. He had slots again, but he had a rod that went through from one side to the other to hold the cup when you have it this way. Um, you'll see more about it as it, as it progresses, but uh, I like this idea, so this is going to be my take. Hopefully it works out all right. We'll see um, how it goes. I'll check back in. Thanks, guys. All right, well, there's the first set of holes, which uh, I'm not sure is going to be enough. So I definitely think I'm going to add some on the outsides over here, at least two. And uh, I don't know, I may do some burn tests with it first and see how it works and then maybe add some more later. So I'm going to probably start some side holes here. Again, I'm probably just going to start small and then increase them if I think I need to. And we'll come back. Okay, so one more look. I got a, went ahead and drilled a couple extra holes in the top. I think that's going to be good. I, I might add some more. I might make the holes a little bigger. I'm not certain yet. But we'll probably try it out before I do that. I uh, three holes in the side. Just went with two in the back for now. And I'm going to see, you know, how it works. I'm thinking I'm going to have at least one up top. Maybe, you know, maybe a little bit bigger ones in the top. Maybe two big ones there. Maybe make one of these bigger than the other two. But uh, that's what we got so far. I'm going to cut out the, uh, cut the handles off for my opening there. And uh, I'm going to find some screws that fit in these four holes here to make a pot stand. And then uh, we'll go from there. Check you guys in a bit. Alright, well, it was a good thing that uh, I had two Dremel pieces, or Dremel wheels, left to cut this out. Because that's exactly what it took. Uh, basically one for each side and then... Another one to get the rest, and then I guess I'll smooth it all out with a uh, just a hand file. Might end up making this taller or wider, but I don't know if it feels pretty good. Looks pretty even. Everything looks. I mean, I just laid it out by hand. If I do any more, I would. Uh, I think I'll make a template and then stick it on there with the holes to cut out. Figure out what works best. Maybe I'll drill some more holes in it. Like I said. But, uh, I don't know, let's fire up the alcohol stove, maybe, and try to cook something in it. Alright, well, I came down into my yard here to, uh, <laughs> there goes the ground, huh? To, uh, start up my stove. He lives underneath my barn, by the way. <laughs> my dog is checking him out. But, that was cool. Anyway, I finished the, uh, canteen stove. Uh, there's no real easy way to do this with one hand. I'm just trying to hold my phone. But the, I just wanted to show it does fit. Once you make it, it fits back inside with the canteen. So I just wanted to get a shot of that and the groundhog. <laughs> and I'll come back as soon as I open everything up. Alright, so here's the plan. Uh, inside my, my canteen bag is, uh, you know, the standard, I think, one quart or whatever bottle for my regular canteen cup and my new uh, 
custom made stand. And what I intend to do with this is what the other, uh, I, I didn't come up with this by the way, I, I talked about that at the beginning. I saw another video about it. Um, you can use fire, gather some small wood, some small tinder, and create a fire in here. And then use your canteen cup on the top here, which uh, I also am going to add some screws in here so that when you set this on there, it gives you a little bit of distance so the flame can come up from underneath. Um, what I'm going to do today is I, have, I couldn't find anything else. I have this piece of copper wire that I'm going to use to put in this first hole here. And there's a second hole here, I'm sorry. And I'm going to put my homemade alcohol stove, again from other YouTube user videos, inside there. I'll place this copper wire there and uh, set my cup right in there. And we're going to cook some chop ramen. Uh, I'm going to start it. I wish I had a uh, tripod or something, but I'm going to start it with my um, my Bear Grylls with the built-in fire striker. My buddy gave me this knife. It's awesome. So, uh, special thanks to him. I'm going to start it to cook my dinner. Uh, we'll check back in as everything's going along. Okay, well, just wanted to check back in. I got everything lit. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm sure you can't really see it. So I can barely see it. I can hear it cooking in there good. I look close, I can see my burners working pretty good. That was my first attempt at, at a little uh, pocket alcohol stove made out of two beer cans. <laughs> and uh, I didn't have a lid, so it was good I brought my bug out bag with me. Made had some aluminum foil to make a lid. Just hanging out down here in the backyard waiting to cook my noodles. All right, well, I haven't really been timing anything, but uh, it's probably been at least at least five six minutes, and uh, I think I got a good little rolling boil going on here. I don't know why it's going a little bit good. You can hear it pretty good. Still burning good. I think I need a little more air down in there, so I'm gonna add some more holes. Cause I notice when I when I lift the cup earlier, I would get a little more burn. It was letting the flames come up around the side a little better. But uh, looks like dinner is served. Uh, I will call this new canteen cup stove. A raving success. Uh, I'm going to try out with uh, some fire the next time. Put some firewood, turn it upside down, and try it that way. Uh, my dog likes it. We're going to sit here and eat ramen noodles. And uh, talk to you guys next time.